Hey my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl Kyla Black. African barbs, Nigerian barbs to be precise, are taking Pink Friday to, to a whole new level. So it turns out they're gonna be celebrating Nikki and Pink Friday too on the 9th of December in Lagos, Nigeria. This just proves that Pink Friday 2 is not only highly anticipated in the US and in Europe, Africa included. That's the power of Nikki. Moving on to more tea about Pink Friday 2. So Nicki Minaj teased his lyrics promising that Pink Friday 2 is beyond anything you could ever imagine. Y'all, this is alarming. Nikki has been promising a lot about Pink Friday 2 and I bet y'all she's not gonna disappoint. So y'all tune in on December 8th because it's gonna be lit. But y'all know what's more amazing than Nikki teasing lyrics of Pink Friday 2? The fact that she said she made two albums while recording Pink Friday 2 and I guarantee y'all it's all gonna be fire. Looking forward to listening to both albums and this just shows how versatile Nikki is. Only true rappers can afford to do this. Why Floppy B on the other hand has not been able to release another album in a decade. Please subscribe to my other channel Gaya Lukiaka in the description. Moving on to what's popping y'all. Nikki is being sassy and I'm here for it. Why? Because she's just stating the obvious and making everyone know she is sitting on the MF throne and Nikki tweeted this via X. She was like, December 8 is coming soon. If you're on my shit list, you will never ever recover. The effing end. And y'all know this is a subliminal shot at floppy b the world would be a better place if floppy b in rapping floppy music and like the fact that nikki keeps promising and bragging about pink friday 2 makes me fear the amount of impeccable music she's gonna release are y'all ready for it and before y'all be like nikki can't do this nikki does not have the power to do this to someone like floppy b honey newsflash nikki is the present the future and the path of rap. She got the power. While Floppy B on the other hand got no influence. Piola does not want anything to do with Floppy B because she's untalented. And FYI, Floppy B is the queen of F up. So I think Nikki does not need to put any effort into this because she's definitely gonna sabotage herself on her own with her floppy music. But I love the fact that Nikki's giving warnings and I think Nikki has given too much luck and grace to floppy b she was supposed to have put floppy b in her place a long time ago right from the shoe incident in nyc fashion week like nikki needs to stop being the mother of rap and actually be ready at some point in time and this is not just subliminal shots or threats nikki's tweeting out i guarantee y'all it's a promise because Floppy B has bitten more than she could chew. Y'all know she's been trying for the longest time to sabotage Pink Friday 2. And everyone has been literally paying dust to all her ridiculous announcement. From the fact that she's gonna be dropping a movie on the same day as Pink Friday 2. From the fact that she's trying to drop an album or music on the exact same day as Pink Friday 2. But yet, people paying her dust. She's literally the most irrelevant rapper out there. Female rapper. And I'm just so loving it. How y'all feel about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons. So that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. Thank you. Because baby, it's definitely gonna be juicy. And I guarantee y'all, I'm a vibe.